Welcome to St. George's School in Newport, Rhode Island. This is where the tour will begin. So this is a great place to hang out with friends on campus. You can sit in a blanket, listen to music, throw frisbee, anything you want. Um, and it's located between one of our largest girls dorm on campus and then we have something, this is called the complex, so it's three boys dorms all connected in one building, so it makes it easy to hang out. Uh, spring dance weekend is a great tradition here. It happens here on the quad. Everyone just brings their couches out for the day and listens to live music and it's a really good time. This is the St. George's Library. It's a great space to work independently or within groups on projects. You will also occasionally have class in here. It's just a nice space for all the students to interact and you can always check out movies or books. This is the Davenport Room, often used for meetings, discussions, presentations, class, or just a space for a lot of students to study. On the bottom floor of the library, we have the American Horton Centers for Teaching and Learning, where you're able to meet with a teacher about organization, study skills, or a specific subject, as well as peer tutoring takes place down here. This is an example of a study room. Check it out. You can reserve them with your friends to study. This is our St. George's Chapel. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, we hold mandatory chapel services for the entire St. George's community. Thursdays are our longer chapel blocks, and on the first Thursday of every month, we have a communion service. Although we are an Episcopalian institution, all religious and faith backgrounds are welcome. On Thursdays, we also have a choir group that performs. Every Tuesday, we have a senior give a chapel talk, which is a really great opportunity here at St. George's. I like to come here on Tuesdays and listen to one of my classmates tell about their time at St. George's or a unique story that's happened to them. In, in December, we also have the Christmas Festival here in the chapel and all students are welcome to participate by being shepherds and we have a real live baby as baby Jesus. You know, the surfing experience here at St. George's is one of a kind. And there is no other school where you can come out in the morning or in the afternoon, whether it's after your sports practice or after your classes, and just go and paddle out and ride some waves. It's truly just an amazing time. St. George's offers students a unique opportunity to follow a passion, follow something they love. Uh, we love surfing. Surfing's our passion, and it's really allowed us to uh, expand upon that. Freshman and sophomore year, I worked around my schedule, my busy schedule, and uh, found times to surf, whether it's in the morning or after my afternoon activity. But uh, through, my, through work with uh, faculty and students at the school, uh, we created the Surf and Leadership Program at St. George's, where it's allowed us to go surfing, follow a passion every single day. And we're so lucky to have the ocean right at, a, right at our doorstep that we can uh, be a part of every day. Geronimo is St. George's 70-foot sailboat. It is St. George's most unique program. In Geronimo, there are eight students and three professional crew members. We live together, ranging from one week to six weeks to learn how to sail and how to live on the sea. There are fall voyage, winter voyage, spring break voyage, spring voyage, and summer voyage. So each of these voyage can go to different places. For example, the Bahamas, Caribbean, or even to Europe. It is a very hands-on experience in which students can study and sail at the same time, and you can't get it anywhere else. So this is our academic building. This is where most of our math and science classes are held. Um, we also have the academic building atrium, which is where we are now, where students can come and do their homework during the day or during the study hall. Also in this atrium is where we have what we call brown bag lunches. This is where we have professionals in their fields come and talk to students and teachers about their research. All right, so now I'm gonna take you into one of our physics labs. So this is where our physics classes meet. We have an area in the front with a whiteboard for teaching, and then we have an entire area in the back for experiments and motion rails, and even bowling balls hanging from the ceiling. This is our plant room. 
In this room, we have plants for our biology classes to study and work with, but this is also a place where students can come and study in between classes. Um, welcome to Ox. So this is an upper form double. Um, the great thing about living in a dorm at St. George's is that you have four or five prefects who are designated to live in your dorm to take care of you, make sure you're always okay, they're great role models. Then you also have four or five dorm parents who serve as like parents in the dorm. They're always baking snacks, they celebrate birthdays, they hang out in the common room. They're really the people you can go to if you're upset. Um, and the great thing about living in a dorm here is that you never feel lonely because there's so many people around at all times. Hello, this is King Hall. This is where we gather for morning, day, and night for meals. This is also where we have our community lunch on Thursdays, where we sit with different age groups and talk about our life here and get to know one of each other. So, as you see, it's always busy, filled with different people <laughs> throughout the community, and I love it. The food's great, they have everything here, including gluten-free, vegan, everything that you want diet-wise. Hello, welcome to a wonderful school. This right here is the grill. So this basically is like a little hangout spot or let's say you didn't get like breakfast or lunch. This is basically, what's good man? This is basically where you can like um, get your lunch or your breakfast in case you didn't get it. It's a um, nice little hangout spot. And as you can see, people are already hanging out right here. So that's the grill right there for you. This is squash court. Squash is one of our winter sports. Our sports teams here compete in the Independent School League, the ISL. On this side is the St. George's Athletic Hall of Fame featuring alumni and faculty and other people associated with our athletic program that have contributed a lot in the past years. This is the swimming pool. I am a part of the swim team and the swim team is one of the most hardworking and tight-knit teams on campus. We're very competitive in our leagues. This is the downstairs gym. A lot of sports teams and athletes come in here for strength and conditioning. Other students can also come in here to work out. This is the upstairs gym. It contains more machinery and equipment for cardio exercises. It is open to the community. Hey, welcome to the Art Center. To my left is the Madeira Hall and fits our whole school. It's a theater. And to my right is the Hunter Gallery where artist exhibition is going on to Right there are classrooms and there are visual foundation classes, drawing classes going on. And then there are also theater foundations, so theater classes. And upstairs are music rooms, practice rooms, band rooms, and everything else. Hi, welcome to Madeira Hall. We meet in here twice a week on Mondays and Fridays for student assemblies. We have announcements, club games, a lot of other fun stuff. In addition to assembly, we also meet here for all of our musical performances, theater, drama shows, dance ones, and even our lip sync battles. The music department allows students to explore their passions, whether it is in the a cappella groups, the hilltoppers, or the snapdragon. Students can also choose to be part of the orchestra or jazz bands on campus. But what's most fun is to form your own band and rock out with your friends. We hope that you enjoyed the St. George's virtual tour. Until next time.